striving for the top, but you're going to yeah. put all those hurdles in their way, as has been in their way for centuries, no. and that's fine. You're saying no, that's no. fine. No, no, I think I really the think The patriarchal that's, system really is just fine. I think that's silly. I do. I think that's silly. I really do. Jordan Peterson was in the UK last week promoting his new book, 12 Rules for Life. And if you saw my last video, you will have seen that I met him while he was here. And if you've seen any videos on YouTube lately, you'll know that he was on Channel 4 while he was here as well. He was interviewed by a woman called Kathy Newman for the Channel 4 network. Since then, the half hour video has been viewed uh, three and a half million times. Uh, and it became so widely known that my own mother told me to review it on my channel. So here I am. First of all, I'll say that like everybody else, I absolutely loved watching this interview. And if you haven't watched it already, you absolutely should watch the whole thing. As a fan of Jordan Peterson, it was very satisfying to watch him uh, deftly navigating the uh, all the tricks that uh, this interviewer was trying to uh, pull on him to trick him into saying something he, he didn't really believe in. It's quite obvious from watching the video that uh, Kathy Newman was not particularly interested in Jordan Peterson's ideas or in learning from him to really figure out what he was all about. She was just trying to get him to say something that would make good television or uh, make a good headline. Um, which is her job. She needs to get views for the channel and for her program. So I'm not really surprised that she was being a little bit, uh, let's just say mischievous and uh, being not exactly honest in the interview. I see it all the time on television. It's nothing new. Uh, I don't really understand why she's getting so much hate. In my opinion, it should be television as a medium that should be getting the, uh, the hate for this. This has been going on for years. Uh, whenever I watch Channel 4 News, BBC News, and especially uh, Good Morning Britain on ITV. Um, for those of you who don't know, these are the major networks of the UK, the unrivaled top channels. Uh, all of their news programmes are pretty poor. Uh, BBC probably has the best, but Good Morning Britain is, uh, is the trashiest news uh, in the UK available, I believe. They have a reporter called Piers Morgan who does exactly what Kathy Newman does in this interview, but a hundred times worse with a lot more shouting. I don't understand how you can possibly justify a pay gap on the fact that women are shorter than men. Because whatever your argument, that is just complete rubbish. Yes. How tall are you? Five foot four. Right, there we go. <laughs> Why the rubbish? I'm sorry, you still believe in stereotypes. We, ma we are now living we in the 20th century. We believe in stereotypes. Is that a joke? You forget the 20th century My God, century man, you've got some front. Uh, we are the ones talking in stereotypes. You've just called women, women are, stupid, short, not deserving of gender pay. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You've been I, married. You've been married. Please, uh, please, please, this is please, the least surprising please, fact about you. You are heard. lying second time. You've been, married three, said, you've been married three times. You have eight children by four different women. Do you think your special brand of celebration Celebration of of women is is struggling a bit given your extraordinary private life where eight children by four different women I think it was the fact that I'm so used to reporters doing this on the news uh, that it was so Pleasing to watch Jordan Peterson facing off against it and succeeding so well It's if you've seen the interview you'll know that it basically consists of Jordan Peterson presenting some quite nuanced beliefs with uh, very sensible facts to back up his beliefs and uh, very interesting, rather intricate arguments, and Kathy Newman trying to sum uh, summarise his position in just a few words that she's picked out from his argument that make him sound like some kind of um, misogynist nut. If he mentions men or women or talks at all in, in any sort of general sense, she accuses him of generalising and uh, being... Uh, well, she isn't outrightly accusing him of being sexist, but that seems to be what she's trying to... Um, get him to admit to. My favourite part about the interview is how how little it seems to bother Jordan Peterson that she is uh, interviewing him so badly. He seems to be just enjoying himself uh, and it really is a delight to see him uh, just sort of laughing it off and having a good time uh, talking to this woman who has no goodwill to him at all. It doesn't matter how smart you are or how convinced you are of your own opinions or how much evidence you have to back up what you're saying it, it's very easy to be tripped up by reporters like this who just twist your words and um, ask you questions that really have nothing to do with what you've just said it's hard to argue against something that makes no sense so it it can be very disarming to be uh, 
interviewed in this way and like I said I see it all the time but I've never seen it handled so well John Peterson was extremely graceful in the way that he dealt with her questions and it was uh, just a joy to watch it's also something that I like about uh, Jacob Rees-Mogg the um, Conservative Member of Parliament uh, whenever he comes on uh, the BBC which is fairly frequently he does a similar thing where he just seems to uh, have a good time and not let the uh, ridiculousness of the questions uh, get to him. Interestingly, Mr Eastmog, the Labour Party is waiting in the wings, is it not, for your party to tear itself apart. If not the Prime Minister's fault, then whose? Well, a moment ago, you didn't want to talk about the Labour Party, but as we get on to no, that, I'm not, I'm they're not just talking as about divided the Labour Party. as we are. Uh, no, 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 well, Mr. Rees Mogg, 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 I'm not talking about <laughs> the Labour Party. You want your I'm cake saying and that they are waiting for you well, you to tear yourself them, right? apart as a party. I'm glad you both think it's funny because you've only got six seat majority. It's not great, is it? I can only hope that if I was ever interviewed on television like this, that I would be able to deal with it as as gracefully as uh, Jacob Rees-Mogg and uh, John Peterson have. It really is a shame that television has come to this. Uh, uh, in preparation for this video, I watched some old uh, Jeremy Paxman interviews and um, what the what the BBC used to be like, uh, where the uh, television used, used to be so dry and it's just great. What sells on the news is uh, short segments um, with very simple ideas. Uh, so. I think that was the formula that Kathy Newman was trying to fit was uh, there's this guy, John Peterson, he's uh, a controversial figure, uh, he's uh, anti-transgender, he's anti-feminism, and he's got all of these uh, alt-right male supporters online. He's a sort of countercultural figure, and you, Kathy Newman was just trying to get that idea across, I think, as, uh, as concisely as possible. Uh, without trying to sort of delve into what was really going on or what he is really on about when he's talking all the time. I do have a instinct to feel kind of bad for her because I feel like it's possible that uh, the producers of the show were telling her to do this and maybe she even had a, uh, an earpiece in telling her what questions to ask. So I feel she may not be deserving of all of the ridicule. Channel 4 says that she's been threatened and that she ne now needs a security force to help her stay safe. I don't know how heavy the criticism of her has been, although I have seen a lot of her being ridiculed, and fair enough, uh, there's nothing nothing wrong with a little joke here and there, but I do wonder whether I should feel sorry for her a bit if, if it's her producer telling her to make the interview like this for the sake of the channel, and maybe even telling her what questions to ask in her ear, then uh, I don't really see that she should be being made fun of as much, but I don't know if that's the case or not. Bottom line is that Kathy Newman is not a very good interviewer, but she's by no means the worst interviewer on TV. Uh, I've seen as bad and worse as her. Uh, there are a few who are better, um, but it's her level of reporting is the norm, I think, on television, and that's a shame, but that is the world we're living in. What people are emphasising is her being stupid and her being bad at debating, but I think what they should be emphasising is how cool John Peterson is in this interview. He's just, he handled it so well. That's what makes the interview good, I think. Anyway, sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird in this video. I've got a blocked note and a bit of a sore throat. I'm just getting better after a bad cold. Let me know what you thought about the interview and uh, whether you think Kathy Newman is uh, any worse or better than normal TV presenters. I'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching. I don't under, I haven't understood you. Well, because you, you're too stupid. Let me try again, right? How can you say that women are less intelligent than men when you are saying such men incredibly are less stupid than things? Than men. Why? Yeah, how can you say that when you yourself say such stupid but, things? Uh, first of all, I, 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 I haven't heard you. Okay.